And still talking health matters, some specialists need to focus on how to handle brachial plexus injury, which is becoming a common condition for many babies born in low-income areas. And that's according to the non-governmental organization during an awareness campaign on a nerve injury held in Lagos. Gathered here are traditional birth attendants, local bone setters, mothers with their children. They are here to learn about a condition which usually occurs when a baby is being born. Brachial plexus injury, a loss of movement or weakness of the arm that occurs when a collection of the nerves around the shoulder are damaged during childbirth. There's really no right kind of delivery, right? I mean, these things are not planned for, right? When the child is stuck at the mother's pelvic, all the, the medical practitioner or the midwife needs to know how the maneuvers in order to bring the children out of the mother's vaginal canal or during the CS. And that's what we're doing here today to educate the midwives. As early as two weeks old, once you notice when you have your child, you notice that only the fingers are moving and the hands are not moving, you need to take that child to the medical practitioner the first one month of birth. According to statistics, BPI occurs in nearly three out of 1,000 births, and the experts here say the condition can be treated early. You go stretch arm like this. See where I hold you. I see hold here. Support here. I hold here. Support here. You will stretch arm like this. Some of these shoulder and hand exercises are ways to prevent a permanent damage. The boy has a um, weakness of the arm, so what I basically was to do was to teach the mother what to do at home to help the child. So I taught her some um, range of motion exercises, which is some stretching exercises to combat the already stiffness on she's having, is having on the arm. So I taught her how to stretch the arm. I taught her also how to help the child to, get some, um, to gain some strength on the arm and also how to handle or position the arm. We are very happy and uh, I told them in the community like this, we need something like that. So if they can do this, then the government can do even more. We also advise the traditional birth attendants to, you know, always refer them to a facility, you know, where they have, you know, physicians that can do a cesarean section in a case whereby they are experiencing challenges beyond their expertise. While this condition can be prevented through proper birth techniques, it is also believed that access to affordable health care and trained specialists reduce the rise in cases of brachial plexus injury.